An unsung hero of early jazz banjo, Elmer Snowden was born in Baltimore, Maryland in October of 1900. Snowden's musical journey began at the age of nine when the father of a friend showed the youngster the rudiments of the guitar. A quick study, Snowden soon found himself progressing from barbershop and street corner performances to leading his own band, the Washingtonians, while he was still in his teens. Enticed by pianist Fats Waller, in 1923, Elmer Snowden moved the core of his band to New York to perform with the storied entertainer. However, upon arrival, Waller and his promised engagements had both vanished. The ambitious but piano playerless Snowden took the setback in stride. After sending for his former pianist, Edward Kennedy Ellington, whom the world would come to know as Duke Ellington, Elmer Snowden went on to create his own memorable chapter in pre-prohibition New York jazz. His prowess as a band leader, coupled with a keen eye for talent, soon found Snowden's bands performing constantly while launching the careers of numerous future jazz greats, including Duke Ellington, Count Basie, Chick Webb, and many others along the way. The height of Elmer Snowden's stardom coincided with the four-string banjo's peak of popularity during the Roaring Twenties. However, unlike the playing style of many banjo pioneers of that era, Snowden was one of the first to bring an element of swing to his playing. Although he made hundreds of uncredited recordings in the 1920s and 30s, the incredible swing of Elmer Snowden's star-studded band was documented in the 1933 Warner Brothers short film entitled Smash Your Baggage. Although he remained musically active throughout his entire lifetime, Elmer Snowden lived in relative obscurity during the 1940s and 50s. In the 1960s, however, Snowden was rediscovered by a new generation of jazz musicians and enthusiasts. His mature, impeccable musicianship and restrained swinging style were featured on numerous LP records, including the landmark 1961 recording, Harlem Banjo, which captured Elmer Snowden at the peak of his jazz powers. Respected as an elder statesman of jazz, Elmer Snowden's career revival in the 1960s saw him touring Europe, performing at the Newport Jazz Festival, and teaching jazz at the University of California at Berkeley. When he passed away in Philadelphia in May of 1973, Elmer Snowden left behind not only a unique jazz banjo legacy, but a significant contribution to the fabric of American jazz itself.